it's me your boy Ike Samson, you know, sometimes many of us always have these attitudes and this mindset, why people hate us, why is it that they are always angry, mad at us, why is it that they are always envying us, you know, speaking bad about us, and sometimes we question ourselves, are we the, 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 the one that commits the error, or does that mean we made a mistake? The truth is this, you are the cost. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Have you ever sit down and count your blessing? Have you ever in your life sit down and count how fruitful you are, how successful you are doing in life, and you expect them not to hate you? When they are waiting every day to hear bad news from you, when they are waiting to see you go down, have you ever imagined that there are a lot of people who are waiting for you to beg them food to eat? No, let me just be real with us. Why do you think that you are not the cost? You need to take the blame. <laughs> you have never in your lifetime begged them food to eat. Neither have you begged them have strength to pay your, your house. And neither have you begged them clothes to clothe your children or yourself. Or have... Or, can't you just think that there are a lot of people who don't count their blessing, but they keep counting on yours? So have you ever imagined or come to that point to think that you are too blessed not to be hate? <laughs> that is why you need to understand that you are the reason why they are hating you, because you are too fruitful in all you do. When they look at you, when they look at your life, they have all reasons to hate you because you are fruitful. You never beg them anything. You never lack anything. You are doing well in life. You are becoming whom you always dream to become despite of that difficult time. Have you ever imagined that? Have you ever imagined or think that there are a lot of people whom meet you or whom you are in love with or whom you are associating with that the reason why they are, we are around you is because they are waiting to see you one day or they are expecting one day you will come to explain to them how tough your life is. And despite of all, you are bigger than them in all ratification and you expect them not to hate you. No. The main truth is that they have all it takes to hate you. Let's forget about the fact that some people will hate you without no reason, without you offending them. But in this case, they have a multiple and a multi reasons to hate you. Why? Because you never in your lifetime explain to them you never in your lifetime beg them. They never see you cropping on the ground, begging them food to eat, water to drink, your house bill, all this stuff. And you expect them to be happy with you. So the main reason why people will always hate you is because of the fact that what they lack is what they see in you. So you are fruitful and they are not. So you are the cause why they are hating you. And let you be the cause forever. Because you, you will keep excelling. And they will keep monitoring and counting your blessing. And many of us have never seen one day like this. And count our blessing one by one. Because I know the truth is that we know we are blessed. And we are too busy to recognize all. But believe me, your enemies are not busy at all because they have no shit going on for them. So they are not, they are not tired, neither are they busy not to count your blessing. So they are counting every blessing that you obtain every day. And that is the main reason why they are pissed off whenever they see you. You know what I'm saying? So remember, blessed me, God blessed you.